Right. So I just made my big tutorial about how to combine traditional and digital arts. So you can see this on YouTube for free as well. But what I thought is I would do a very quick tutorial on the box art that I've created. Yeah. So you'll, as you see in many YouTube tutorials and video tutorial sites, people often make it render out a box and they put words on top. So this, this enables the viewer to, um, to see the title and it stands out quite clearly. Um, so this is how I did the render in the scene. Um, I'm not going to make it for you. I'm just going to show it to you because it's very, very simple. So firstly, we've got a, the render setup is a, just the mental ray, the mental ray renderer. Okay. And then it's got a uh, daylight assembly system on it. Um, you should really, perhaps you should, if you wanted to get really, really cool results, you could use interior lighting systems, but this is fine for what it is. Then the materials, just an arch architectural design material for the box. <clears throat> you know, not much shininess <clears throat> around corners here. So the, you know, the edges when they're rendered are round. You can't really see that in this drawing, because this render, because it's very bright. I adjusted the brightness and contrast, but in the original render, it had nice little round edges. Don't really render any boxes or anything really sharp. Um, so that's that, and that's the, and then the other, the ground material. Um, I kept the refre reflectivity up a bit, so it gives quite a. It looks like a nice shiny table, and then the Im the lettering I did in Sketchbook Pro, which is quite a nice package to edit, um, you know, words actually, which um, not many people use that for. And um, there you go, and there's a camera, the camera goes there, it's got the environment system, uh, mental, re men mental ray, photographic exposure control, etc, etc. So as far as I can tell, that's about it. But, you know, it's, it's, if you've got 3D Studio Max or Blender or a 3D software, you can render out these cool box product images. You can buy commercial products such as box shots, which is good for people that don't actually use 3D. It would be a waste of time, you know, for you to just do 3D to make boxes. So things like box shots are good as well. Um, but if, as I say, if you do use 3D graphics, um, you can easily make it yourself as well. So that, there's the scene. There's this. Any comments or questions you have, please, please go ahead. And um, remember to check out my free course, How to Combine Traditional and Digital Art. And you can see that on this channel that you're watching now. Okay, speak later. Bye.